Hi everyone, I'm Professor Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, today our main subject uh, is about uh, performance model of hybrid photovoltaic and horizontal wind turbine uh, for uh, the powering of uh, reverse osmosis uh, desalination process. Uh, let's go uh, first of all open your MATLAB, okay? After you download your model, copy it into your main working folder and open MATLAB and then go to your destination folder from here. This is my destination folder, your drive, uh, your path. Uh, go to your path from here, okay? And this is my uh, folder, okay, this one. So I click here and click here in order to sort by a name and group by type. So you'll find uh, each type here uh, is in its proper place. Okay, this is we have. I have this model. This is one uh, uh, photovoltaic horizontal turbine. Okay, and this is for dynamic version. If you would like to use a dynamic version, okay, let's double clicking. Okay, uh, we demonstrated that before in 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 the manner of design mode. Okay, in design mode, we uh, we needed to discover the area of photovoltaic. Uh, uh, the design aspects for horizontal wind turbine, the cost, hourly cost, yearly cost, and uh, based on uh, the productivity, fresh water productivity. So in previous models, we assigned the productivity in order to get the design and cost for this. But in this model, we suppose we have a specific model, horizontal wind turbine with a specific design, photovoltaic with a specific design. So we need to discover how much you can gain from here, how much you productivity. So uh, this is performance matter. So we need to uh, uh, discover that we have performance horizontal uh, wind turbine, performance for photovoltaic and performance for uh, reverse osmosis in order to uh, bring out how much we can uh, collect from our productivity system. Uh, just double clicking here. Okay, first of all, uh, set your submission time into zero. Um, let's go for uh, uh, model browser. Okay, check all of these and you'll find your model here. Okay, uh, so we have here. Uh, this is the main block, double clicking. So we'll find you, you this is performance based on operating conditions, the changing of operating conditions. So we need to set some inputs, main inputs to the uh, controller. This is your controller. Uh, solar radiation, you can control it, okay, okay, manually, you can control it. And you can add here a uh, solar radiation model if you would like. You have to refer to our uh, previous uh, solar radiation model in our YouTube channel. Okay, so you can uh, change this uh, manually and you can put uh, your uh, design limit for solar radiation. Suppose you would like to operate photovoltaic at 500 watt per meter square. Uh, unless that you can uh, use uh, horizontal wind turbine. Okay, suppose I, I would like to operate my horizontal wind turbine based on uh, average wind speed. So you have to set your limit for wind and set your limit for uh, uh, solar. Uh, in wind speed, suppose I would like to run it at, uh, uh, for example, 8 meters per second. And uh, average wind speed, uh, you can control this. So below this limit, there is no wind uh, turbine are going to be uh, used or utilized. You have to go over this limit. And the same for photovoltaic, you have to go over this limit in order to uh, operate your system. Suppose, uh, suppose I, I, there is no limit for, uh, I, I, I couldn't uh, reach the limit for solar or for wind, so the battery is going to uh, serve the system uh, uh, instead of. Okay, uh, let's begin. Suppose I have this one, okay. Okay, let's go here. Okay, this is our main system. Let's emphasize a little bit, okay. Uh, we have to assign individual inputs. Uh, for vertex osmosis, we have some parameters for horizontal wind turbine and photovoltaic and battery uh, storage. 
let's begin from uh, uh, reverse osmosis. So we need to assign some uh, parameters. Power, we are going to calculate the powers. Therefore, it is uh, invisible. So uh, um, you can't, uh, 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 or not editable, you can't change this. How can I activate this? Just uh, right click here. Going to the mask, edit mask, and this is the same for all. Okay, this is the power, high pressure pump power. So uh, you can, you can. This is enable and visible. If you check here, it it will uh, disappear. So you can en enable it by clicking here. If you hit apply and double clicking here, you find it enabled. So you can control uh, the power. Okay, but uh, actually in, in our model we don't need this. Uh, the power should be calculated from the photovoltaic or horizontal wind turbine or the battery. So I will disable it and hit apply. So there is no need for uh, the power. And uh, pressure drop. What is your uh, 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 reverse smoothness pressure drop? Normally between uh, 40 uh, bars up to uh, 67, 70 bars, something like this. Suppose I have uh, uh, 67 bars of, of pressure. I will go for module type. Suppose it's sea water, uh, 30 heat recovery. Uh, okay, this one, module. Uh, how many number of pressure vessels? Okay, if you increase the number of pressure vessels, uh, it, it, you have to, uh, uh, because this is a performance model, so you have to go to the plant and check how many pressure vessels you are going to use. And there is some kind of relation between pressure vessels and number of element and pressure. Uh, if you increase the number of pressure vessels, you will drop the pressure drop. You, you will uh, decrease the pressure drop, therefore the power uh, uh, would be uh, decreased as well. Number of elements, I think no more than eight. Operating conditions, uh, 24 hour operating conditions, ambient temperature or reference temperature, this is reference temperature for exergetic analysis. No, uh, this is for exergetic analysis. This is saline water temperature, okay. Uh, inlet feed salinity. What is your inlet feed salinity? This is uh, 42,000 ppm. Okay, so this is a ratio, a salinity ratio. So it, it is gram per kilogram. So uh, suppose I have a salinity ratio for um, uh, uh, Mediterranean, Mediterranean, for example, the 75, based on my knowledge. And performance, what is your pumping efficiency, fouling factor, recovery issues, there is so important. So you can discover the effect based on your uh, recovery ratio, but I'm saying this one is, should be uh, 0.30. Okay, I hit apply and okay. For horizontal wind turbine, uh, uh, the same for, uh, we don't need this one. Uh, rated wind speed should be uh, uh, should be calculated in, in, in entire the model so you can edit mask you, you can check this okay rated wind speed is not enabled because we uh, are going to calculate uh, this one uh, okay so let me check okay so if you double click here uh, there is no uh, need for this one okay a uh, site elevation what is your site elevation suppose I have uh, this effect on uh, pressure and side effect, it has an effect on temperature and uh, air density. So, suppose I have site elevation 100 meter, for example, tip of mountain or plateau, something like this. Uh, okay, we have to assign tip speed ratio. You can study this, the performance. You can change this, you can change. Uh, this tip speed ratio and study the effect on your uh, system. You can also copy this one. You can copy this. Uh, I'm just giving you some ideas about and uh, you can put it here and you can disengage with this one. Let's go inside. Let's go view model browser, show model browser so we can uh, go inside. 
okay and we we need to uh, uh, this is related with the speed we need to disconnect these there is no need for these uh, signals and we can con connect this one related with the speed and uh, check uh, the system uh, individually okay and there is no need for to go outside you can remove this as well you can remove this one you can remove this delete so there is no output from here okay the main result should be appear here inside the, uh, the main model okay and uh, okay let's not to save this one okay okay and for when uh, okay rotor diameter what is your uh, uh, specified design parameter rotor diameter uh, 20 meters 100 meters for uh, maybe over 8 gigawatt per module okay how many uh, wind turbines are going to use one two modules three modules uh, remember if you increase this you in increase the power okay so increasing the power would would increase the productivity to your system okay um, suppose i have one module okay uh, just in, an example okay uh, generator efficiency uh, uh, rotation loss for uh, generator this is for generator part and uh, power factor lag uh, voltage okay a battery for horizontal wind turbine depth of charge okay a battery efficiency and so on uh, okay let's go for photovoltaic the same for photovoltaic I, I, I disable solar radiation here because we are going to control it uh, from outside from the main controller here okay we can we can control this from here so there, there is no need to uh, the same i dis disable this okay temperature of yourself what is your average temperature of this you can also discover the effect of changing this on your uh, photovoltaic uh, performance yeah, what is your short circuit current uh, open uh, circuit voltage you can change this also and discover the effect in case you intended to go to work on this individually okay it's a study you can study each parameter and its effect on your uh, system productivity short circuit coefficient electronic charge i i, I demonstrated a video about that before uh, okay what is your module type uh, polycrystalline, monocrystalline, uh, it's up to your uh, for identity factor. You can select your uh, type. This is backing factor, okay? Uh, fill factor, resistance. I, I will keep this uh, parameters because these are in literature, uh, commonly used in literature, so I uh, there's no intention to change this. Uh, and it's up to your study. Uh, number of cells normally 36 uh, in, in series uh, set this to one because uh, there is no parallel uh, uh, number of modules how many modules cell area okay so this is this will decide your uh, photovoltaic area so and power because it has a, a massive effect on your on your power suppose i have uh, 50 or 600 uh, modules in order to uh, make an array uh, for our system for battery we have also uh, you can set your uh, battery depth of a charge operating hours number of cloud days load what is your load on battery voltage load uh, battery uh, uh, voltage and load voltage a battery current number of batteries in order to assign your uh, uh, total power okay let's hit run and see our results let's hit run suppose i have a uh, solar addition about uh, uh, 800 and um, when the speed it's about for example five meter per second so i intended to see uh, the effect on uh, the system if you check this you will find there is no result on uh, okay there is only result on photovoltaic no wind no battery okay this is the total power uh, let's go for okay there is almost zero there is no result here okay zero and for photovoltaic yes we have here photon current uh, module saturation current uh, pv current 
PV power, photovoltaic power. Okay, and this is your, to uh, this is in what? And we have here, if you would like to access to the code, you can just double clicking here, you can find your code here, you can adapt it in your research. This is total power in kilowatts, so we need 34 kilowatts. Suppose I would like to increase um, as a number of modules, let's increase the number of modules up to one, uh, 1,000 modules. Let's see if we increase this. So increasing number of modules uh, will increase, yes, the power has increased as well. Uh, module efficiency, okay, this is your module efficiency, uh, 8%. Uh, electrical efficiency, uh, thermal efficiency, I'm sorry, yes. Okay, overall system efficiency, 10%, um, usually between 10 and 12, something like this. Uh, total uh, field area is about 600. Uh, 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 suppose you would like to increase the power, you have to increase uh, solar radiation because it has a, a massive effect by solar, by, uh, let's increase the solar radiation and see. Uh, okay, let's see the power effect. Increasing solar radiation will fluctuate your power up and down. Yes, it has increased. Let's go for uh, reverse osmosis because we connected this to reverse osmosis. We connected this uh, to the reverse osmosis. Okay, so this is our net power uh, aff affected by the photovoltaic. So I'm sorry, let's go to reverse osmosis. So this power, yes. Uh, 67 for photovoltaics, yes, 67 here. Uh, so 67 for uh, for this one is going to be utilized. If you double click here, you will find your uh, code. Okay. Uh, so this is specific bulk consumption. Okay, seven. That's relatively high. We can drop this to down to five or three. Uh, uh, productivity so we need to produce this we we were going to produce 300 meter cube per day so this is our feed uh, feed consumption uh, salinity feed consumption okay and uh, brine salinity okay uh, this is uh, brine blue down salinity uh, product salinity is about uh, 350 bbm uh, almost um, suitable for human resources or human uh, uh, uses I'm sorry um, average salinity ratio net osmotic pressure uh, specific entropy production uh, kilojoule per kilogram irreversibility rate exergy uh, feed exergy of brine exergy and this is salt rejection this is normally uh, 0 0.9998 something like this almost one okay almost one okay suppose I would like to utilize um, the horizontal let's see the effect of horizontal wind turbine uh, so you drop this below f your limit 500 and up this one if you if you if uh, solar addition and wind speed uh, go below th this limit so the battery will uh, charge the system that's Hit run and see. Let's go inside. Yes, battery. The load on the battery. So let's go for the battery. Okay, this is our uh, power. Power increase because I my specifications. You can uh, you can control this by reduce reducing uh, the number of batteries. Let it be uh, 500 battery. But first, let's see for 200 kilowatt of power. Yes, 200 kilowatt of power. Let's see if we run this. We dropped uh, the power. Okay, okay. This is the power. It's around 120 kilowatt of power. Let's we can drop it back again. Let's drop back again the battery. 200 uh, number of battery 200. And see. Yes, it's around uh, 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 48 something like this. Uh, you can change the pressure or, or number of pressure vessels. Let's decrease number of pressure vessels down to, uh, uh, for example, 35. And see the effect here. Yes, it has 
some, it has a minor effect. Let's it change the pressure. I'm sorry. Let's change the pressure. Let's go down to 40,000, uh, 4,000 kilopascal. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 4,000 kilopascal. Okay, 6,000, need to be 5,000 kilopascal. Okay. okay, I'm sorry, uh, hit OK. Let's go inside and see. Dropping the pressure beside the power. Uh, okay, the power consumption has decreased. Okay, and uh, the, the, the net productivity has increased as well. Relatively, relative to the, the power, you can uh, use this. Suppose I would like to, to uh, let's go battery, okay. This is battery storage, uh, ampere hour, and uh, load current. Uh, suppose I would like to operate horizontal wind turbine, let's go up to uh, more over than uh, 8 meter per second, and let's go here for horizontal wind turbine and hit run okay um, wind speed at uh, uh, blades meter per second um, mass flow rate rotor uh, swept area axial force torque power coefficient power coefficient normally between yes between this number and boon four something like this uh, wind power in kilowatt uh, mechanical power regarding to the losses and this is um, output generator power uh, and we have net developed power should be something like this so uh, total farm power should be suppose I would like to increase number of horizontal turbine I, I would like to add another one let's add another one so for the power will be doubled uh, as I think okay so we have another one yes we have another one current torque for the ig means uh, generator current okay don't uh, don't forget to send the signals to data inspector by clicking this one okay okay you realize a visual small square here you can uh, utilize battery and number of four wind turbine in case of battery of wind turbine as an individual unit so by changing this, this uh, okay, there is no uh, load on photovoltaic on battery, just horizontal wind uh, turbine load, and this is your uh, reverse osmosis results. In case you would like to, uh, this is effect. Let's go for dynamic modeling and see. So double clicking. Okay, and this is my dynamic modeling it will be running time let's close this one okay and uh, let's go for data inspector here i would like to remove all uh, previous results okay so yes delete all okay let's close this one so uh, in this one we, we need to set our controller it's the same this is our main controller it's the same so we need to change some parameters, uh, actually operating conditions parameters, solar radiation and wind speed. We need to change this. And see the load variation between uh, these three main uh, units and the effect on uh, uh, reverse osmosis uh, module. Okay. Okay, let's set our, don't forget to send your data to data inspector as I showed before, okay. Uh, set your simulation time into infinity. So I'm trying to uh, control this manually. Uh, okay, this is uh, dynamic, manually dynamic uh, model. So uh, I'm, I'm just preparing my controller. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Let's bring it here. Let's, I'm going inside the reverse osmosis and see the effect here. Okay, uh, let me check. Um, the controller let me check the controller okay uh, 500 okay 10 uh, meter, uh, meter per second okay uh, number of uh, uh, side okay number of wind turbines suppose we have two uh, modules 
okay for photovoltaic we have here uh, okay 1000 okay uh, reverse smoothness let it be a uh, change example okay I will I will keep this uh, 67 bars number would use around 40 and element 7 okay uh, okay uh, hit run and uh, try to change uh, while the time uh, the time is running let's hit run and prepare this one go inside I'm sorry go inside and let's increase the solar radiation I'm increasing the solar radiation okay okay solar radiation okay if you decrease this one let's decrease this one You have to uh, wait. Let, I'm sorry. I I will stop and uh, it halted a little bit. I think. Okay. I have to uh, restart this one. I'm sorry. Let's close this one. Stop. Okay. I, I have to. Uh, clear my data instructor again and restart again let's restart again okay okay let's restart again delete all closing okay I have to prepare it, uh, more than this let's go here okay double clicking let's go inside I'll visit smoothies and uh, I, let's prepare this position I would like to realize the effect and let's uh, prepare this one also double clicking and go inside okay so I have this one and this one let's put it here okay and put this one here okay and it's fine here okay so now I, I'm going to uh, saving. Okay, let's hit run and and uh, try to uh, change some parameters. Okay. Okay. For just w one click and move your cursor left or right. So now we are go we are running under uh, the solar photovoltaic. Now uh, we are running on batteries. Suppose I would like to increase. Uh, okay this is horizontal wind turbine load let's increase the, the decrease the pressure let's decrease the pressure you realize there is a change here okay let's increase the pressure again suppose i would like to increase the pressure okay okay specific power consumption is increasing decreasing running on uh, wind turbine suppose i would like to run on uh, photovoltaic back again to the photovoltaic okay increasing solar radiation increasing okay the power is increasing mode uh, okay L wait a little bit okay increasing solar radiation has an uh, effect on your uh, productivity as you can see here okay as you can see here increasing a little bit okay and uh, let's okay hit okay and stop stop our simulation okay uh, close this one okay let's go in that uh, this is it's a manual uh, uh, controller so you can uh, reform this to be operated automatically if you would like so this is specific power consumption decreasing this is the period that i delayed my control i i didn't uh, use the, the keyboard okay so uh, we you can uh, change this if you'd like this is specific power consumption decreasing and increasing based on your uh, operating conditions and the power on uh, pressure visits uh exergy Okay, exergy of destruction, feed exergy, brine exergy, a productivity rate. This is a product uh, 
trying to decrease and increase because this is when I decided this constant line vertical constant because I when I decided to to switch between photovoltaic and uh, horizontal wind turbine and battery as you can see here uh, feed this is your feed flow rate brine flow rate uh, product salinity okay you can change this by going here um, let it be from yes uh, 0.6 okay okay product salinity and uh, let's go for uh, uh, where is uh, for generator power yes okay generator power torque uh, let's go for load power on photovoltaic yes power this is power coefficient on horizontal wind turbine axial force for horizontal wind turbine rotor swept area okay number of yes i i need to um to see wind power what well, is this is your wind power okay where is low power on uh, okay yes this one horizontal wind turbine load photovoltaic load and battery load you realize the difference this is this period for uh, the green one is for uh, horizontal wind turbine. You realize that uh, as a space of time that I operated the horizontal wind turbine, there is no uh, use uh, of photovoltaic. Okay, photovoltaic at the beginning and the ending. Okay, and battery will fill the spaces also. Okay, this is the, sp the time that I uh, uh, operated my uh, batteries. So we have here battery oper operational time, wind turbine, and the photovoltaic at the beginning and ending of your simulation. Uh, okay, photovoltaic um, efficiency uh, fluctuate, but you can set this pro from zero. Okay, up to uh, a point point two four, for example, maybe something like this. Yes. And there is no result because this is at the beginning of your simulation, at the ending of your simulation, this is uh, photovoltaic uh, overall efficiency. And you can, what is the horizontal wind turbine result? Uh, yes, wind power, power coefficient, axial force, uh, okay. Uh, okay. So you can extract your result from here based on, but for, uh, uh, remember this is manual, uh, this is manual controlled system. So we need to change this little bit in, uh, with respect to the time uh, to adopt a, a real time uh, operating conditions. You can send your result to the to a figure and let's delete all. Let's do it all and trying to make uh, another uh, technique of uh, running. Therefore, uh, saving. Uh, okay, the, a file save as not to disturb this one. Dynamic, let it be two. Okay, another version. So I need to change the parameters by uh, uh, in order to simulate a real time uh, operating conditions. Mm, therefore, I, I, I will not go to control this manually. I will control this automatically. So I need, uh, let it be over 24 hours. So I set your simulation time and uh, let's go here. Uh, from uh, uh, 1 up to uh, 24. Okay, hit apply. I think variable step is fine. Apply, okay and uh, let's go here for i'm sorry that i'm checking something okay um 24 hours and we need to uh there is no for loop here so you can we can do the following we can use a signal builder let's go for the signal builder sources with signal builder okay 
use MATLAB capabilities, signal builder. So I am trying to build my signals uh, by myself. Okay. Uh, double clicking. We can name this, rename this to uh, as um, let's uh, rename this as operating uh, conditions and uh, double clicking we need to uh, set our time axis time limits it is from 1 to uh, 24 okay so i'm trying to create some signals let's begin from uh, solar radiation uh, solar radiation or wind speed let's begin from wind speed uh, let's create a little bit signal where is uh, New, replace this one let's replace this by custom signal suppose i have uh, one step one up to 24 and with the speed one step one up to 24 it's just random okay so i now i am i i will fluctuate this this is when the speed up and down for example during the day uh, no one can uh, okay during the day and at this at the beginning of the day at morning there is uh, just an example i am trying to give you some uh, and then there is a, a a massive drop in wind speed let's see massive drop in wind speed okay at the middle of middle of the day suppose we we don't have wind speed here okay okay and then we are heading back up again okay okay when the speed is trying to control our system and we will allow it to do okay let's do go down and because when the speed is un uncontrollable okay we can rename this okay we can rename this uh, suppose it it, ha it has an image uh, uh, average wind speed meter per uh, second okay okay and let's uh, add another signal new signal a custom signal is for solar addition one one twenty four and uh, one one and uh, twenty four Okay, uh, uh, this one I, I need it to be to be uh, indexed indexed as one. Okay, so the uh, so uh, wind speed is number two, and for solar radiation, uh, let's begin. At at the, there is no solar radiation at the beginning of our day, and this one is also so zero, midnight, three a.m., four a.m okay and this one okay zero five morning six morning i'm sorry uh, let it be zero zero what permitted I, I will rename this i will rename this uh, this is uh, nst solar in nst what per uh, meter square and at um, at seven morning we have uh, something for example something like this 100 watt and eight morning we have 200 watt and uh, surely it is not a, a it, it should be sign curve you can bring the data from the, the internet or using uh, solar addition model it's up to you uh, nine uh, for example this one at nine o'clock it should be uh, 350 and 10 o'clock it should be uh, 480 and this one uh, I think um, 57 and this one <clears throat> it should be at the middle of the day uh, maybe uh, 690 okay and let's head back again and 
here okay and here okay and at uh, the end of the day uh, let it be uh, something like this and we have here okay and this one the rest zero and this one is zero okay you can you can set it as I'm sorry zero zero okay okay uh, and I, I would like to uh, uh, control it as a sine curve a little bit let's let's control it to become a sine curve and make it more fit a little bit let's fit it okay okay so we have here this one uh, let's begin let's add another one let's add another signal for uh, a pressure uh, pressure let's okay we make another run uh, uh, controlling the pressure uh, pressure drop uh, through the uh, reverse osmosis but let's begin with this one let's begin with this one saving okay so we have here uh, two uh, let's control this remove it put it here and comment it so there is no effect and this one uh, put it here and comment it there is no uh, effect so I would like to uh, switch to uh, automatic controller so if you double click here and try to use this there is no effect because we already co uh, committed it okay there is no effect uh, at all on this the effect is fully automatically controlled by signal builder let's saving uh, this is over 24 hour let's hit run and see I let's hit run and see okay it finished so fastly so let's begin let's go here in data inspector and see okay I'm a little bit exciting to see specific bar consumption or oh, over the day okay ah exchange efficiency fluctuating let's see productivity yes productivity up and down okay uh, I think this is the effect of um, wind speed uh, feed flow rate okay and let's see uh, load power on horizontal wind turbine okay load power horizontal wind turbine power yes uh, wind speed is um, uh, playing with us <laughs> photovoltaic let's see photovoltaic yes this is a photovoltaic power only covers this because the solar radiation is is not uh, going massive so battery power i think battery power yes there's no wind and no photovoltaic so the battery power is covering this uh, time area along the day along 24 hours uh, and this is a power fluctuation because of the effect of uh, uh, wind speed let's it, try to change this a little bit in order to make it uh, reasonable yeah, okay let's go here uh, wind speed uh, suppose I I would like to shut the wind speed or you can change the limit keep it as it is and changing the limit from here uh, let's go for uh, changing the limit reduce uh, the solar radiation limit down to 300 okay uh, okay and with the speed the limit should be over 12 for example so let's see let's see uh, let's hit run okay okay uh, let's go back you can compare results by the way you can compare results on the same data inspector let's see the power fluctuation uh, let it be four enough for 
productivity. This is productivity, yes. Fluctuation reduced because of, because of the effect of solar uh, photovoltaic feed and the brain. Um, let's go for, um, I think, where is power? Yes, load power on photovoltaic. Horizontal wind turbine load. Yes, fluctuation reduced a little bit because uh, the photovoltaic entered the service mostly we increase the time uh, battery okay so, uh, suppose I would like to do the following let's put here photovoltaic run and uh, horizontal wind turbine run close this one don't delete it and let's try here let's try here uh, suppose I would like to uh, make it a little bit constant variation for uh, horizontal wind turbine uh, okay for better uh, explanation okay and let's go down here and make it constant along the day so the battery will enter the surface uh, most of the time okay uh, okay Wind speed, average wind speed, yes. Let's go here. And I'm trying to make it. Uh, okay, let's go up again and see. Let's hit saving, saving, and hit run. Okay, go to data inspector. You can check uh, uh, the part. Okay, this is so addition will give us the same result. Will give us the same result. We did it changes, but here, a wind speed effect. Uh, let's go for wind speed effect. Okay. Uh, I said okay. Okay, there is no low power on wind speed. Actually, at the end of the day, because the, the most of the load was in uh, on a photovoltaic system. Let's see if we uh, photovoltaic here. Where is the photovoltaic load? Yes, yes. Changing a little bit. Increase the time uh, of photovoltaic uh, load. Battery dominate the time because the uh, no existence of solar at at the day uh, day's edge. Okay, and solar radiation uh, power. I'm sorry, wind power uh, uh, not satisfied uh, the load power on reverse osmosis therefore uh, if it's at the edge of the day because we we uh, control this we control this let's delete this one delete all okay let's delete all suppose I would like to yes you can control uh, uh, with the speed also let's begin up again over this Okay, or you can set it as it was, and you can change this, increase or decrease. Uh, okay, decrease this one. Okay, at 10 uh, meter per second, we need the operation of uh, 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 wind at 20, 250. We need the operation of. Uh, uh, give me a try for. Uh, uh, step variable step let it be a little bit uh, 0.05 I, I'm giving some time to the simulation uh, for smooth edges let's go for this smoothies here and see it will take some time yes a step okay I, I need to give it another um, 0.1 uh, okay and see time will take some okay changing the productivity with okay let's see uh, our results here uh, yes um, let's go for load power on uh, total BV power yes total BV but yes it should be in formatting yes from zero up to uh, I don't I can't remember maybe uh, 100 
no, 500. Oh, yes. Okay, forget, we need from here. Load power, yes, this one. Yes, this one. This is load on photovoltaic, so it is it begin from eight morning up to uh, uh, afternoon, and we had here we have here, yes battery, battery okay, operated and horizontal wind turbine yes, fill the gaps between battery. Most of the load was in the battery and and uh, distributed between uh, the three uh, 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 systems. And this is, of course, a specific power consumption will if will affect it. XRG destruction productivity. Where is productivity MP? Yes, along the day it is. It has an effect or along the day. Uh, so you can now realize that uh, uh, by using horizontal wind turbines, the power or battery, the power has increased massively. Uh, finally, I would like you to thank. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for interesting in our. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, share, uh, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.